Hi. Uh, I would like to make a little video about what breathing technique you can use when you hike up the mountain. And uh, so not only to get more energy, but also if you go really high and there is a potential chance of altitude illness, this breathing technique may be um, the way to prevent altitude illness. According to Wim it is, and it's very much like tuma breathing. So what is tuma breathing? Breathing five times in and out, you know, with your chin up and chin down, then breathe in, hold and direct your energy to your lower belly. Imagining a fire, imagine you're this empty glass bottle and this is increasing your heat. So you can use this breathing when you're walking up the mountain, right? Five steps of five times breathing, then breathe in, hold for five steps, focusing on your lower belly, breathe out and keep on doing that. This will also increase your energy and you have like more energy to, well, I don't want to say run up the mountain, but like, you know, like metaphorically speaking, run up the mountain. So what, what do you do when you, um, <clears throat> when you uh, want to prevent altitude illness? Sorry, if you hear the baby, that's my life. Um, it's the same breathing, breathing five, so you're walking up the mountain, pop, 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 steady pace, breathe five times, deep in. And then breathe in, hold. And then for five steps, you don't squeeze it to your belly, you squeeze it to the head. Why is this, you know, like, what is altitude illness? Higher up the mountain, um, there's less oxygen. If we don't have enough oxygen, you become sick. And not only sick, you can die from it even. Uh, and it starts with, you know, like um, not enough oxygen in the brain. So um, what I'm saying is you want to increase that oxygen flow in your brain. And you do this by squeezing up to the head. And so like, like you get a red hat, you know, when we were children and we wanted to freak out our parents. I don't know if you did it, but I did that um, that way. So let's practice two rounds and you can see how it feels. And just remember it and whenever you're hiking, you can try it out for yourself. No guarantee, you know, uh, guarantee until the end of this film, basically. But, but try it out. You can also do it when you're walking in the park, you know, like just as a practice. It's, it's very simple and very, very profound at the same time. So let's do it like just two times. Close your eyes, you know, make yourself comfortable, whatever, in whatever way that is. Lie down if you want. Breathe five times deep. Breathe in, squeeze through the head. for like five counts or five steps when you're walking. Let's do it again. squeeze to the head and breathe out now if this you know if you become out of breath because you're trying too hard you know like if, if you try too hard you screw up for sure right that's well one of the the, uh, the phrases I, I go through uh, through life and of course you know learn from experience so if you're becoming out of breath, you're trying too hard. Um, then you might opt for, you will have, you know, out of breath, sign of not enough oxygen. So please be careful with this. If you really become out of breath, breathe through the mouth um, because you get more oxygen in. And I know some of you will say like, nose breathing only, you know, like I get some, I don't want to call it hate, hate comments, but like nose in and out only. And that's, 
no yeah yes as a default nose in nose out but when you need air after running or when you're hiking up the mountain it's okay to breathe in through the mouth all right so if you need more air you become out of breath breathe in through the mouth let's do one round breathing through the mouth sorry make yourself ready here we go Breathe in and hold for five steps or five count when you're sitting or lying. And breathe out. And repeat. That's it. So simple. Like adjust the tumo. I learned this from Wim, Wim Hof, of course. Uh, but this is not a Wim Hof breathing technique. Um, I hope this helped and um, let me know if you have a question and of course if you like this free content press that like button if you subscribe to my channel and you hit that little bell that notification button you can be annoyed every time I put out a video because you will get an email and yeah, so um, thanks for your time again talk soon bye Zoe says hi bye bye